Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello friends, uh, in continuing with our tech crystallographic texture discussion, uh, today we will see few texture uh, components uh, especially in different type of material for example, body centered cubic and face centered cubic, okay. mainly it will be the, as an example it will be steels and aluminum uh, alloys okay. and we will see try to see what are the di different texture components and uh, means how it will look in, in, in the way we were looking at texture representation in terms of pole figure and ODF, okay, how the components are uh, located in the uh, stereographic space or Euler space. Okay, so, if you see, see the, the dependence, uh, the texture depends on the material of course, uh, in different type of material de depending upon crystal structure. Purity sometime alloying element also changes a lot the material properties and therefore the development of texture. The staking fault energy, so this SFE is basically staking fault energy of the material, okay. And of course, what is the prior deformation condition uh, which which uh, affects the texture development. Uh, in general, uh, if uh, you want to see a complete picture, okay, that what different type of uh, texture components are there in, in, in materials. For example, in this case it is steel, so PCC phase and FCC phase for both uh, it is shown here. Okay. So, if you see BCC phase, there are some fibers are written here. Okay. So, fiber means that if uh, you have a uh, for example, it is already given here. Okay. So, in this case my 110 direction is parallel to rolling direction, but we are not specifying the plane. Okay. So, whenever you have a fiber that means uh, uh, any plane uh, whose 110 direction is parallel to rolling direction. Okay. So, it can be a 001 plane whose 110 direction can be parallel to RD okay, or you can have another 110 type of plane or you can have a 111 plane whose 110 direction in parallel to RD. So, we are not specifying the plane here that means we are taking any plane okay, and when you have a plane uh, if it contains the 110 direction that direction can be made parallel to RD, but there is no specification for plane. Okay, so, if you have that condition for example, the planes are written here. So, you can have 001 plane, a 112 plane or a 111 plane, okay. but for all the HKL UVW this texture component the direction will remain same. Okay. So, in, if you have this kind of condition then we call it as a 110 fiber okay, which is in case of BCG material that is a alpha fiber. There is another fiber very important fiber which is called gamma fiber. In this case the 111 direction is parallel to ND. Okay. So, again you can see the component it is 111 uh, with 110, another 111 and with 112. That means right now we are not specifying the, uh, the, the direction in this case. So, it can be either plane or direction in case of cubic material the direction and the, the the direction of the normal to a plane and uh, and the direction of the same index will always be parallel. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether we are uh, differing in terms of plane or direction. Okay, so th like that there are other uh, components also shown here, different fiber names and their fiber axis and the relevant component. Okay. In terms of uh, pole figure and Euler space if you want to see that how they are uh, arranged. Okay. So, the, the one which I was telling you about the gamma fiber okay, that is located somewhere here okay, uh, which is 
around 45 degree in the phi 2 uh, phi 2 angle is 45 degree uh, another I think 45 degree is for uh, phi okay and uh, continuous fiber in the phi 1 direction it is continuous fiber okay so it starts from 111110 then 111121 then 111011 and so on so complete fiber is there in the Euler space and there are other fibers also mentioned on the Euler space okay uh, that what will be there Euler angles okay the same thing can be shown on a pole figure also again you have alpha fiber which is shown with a square notation then beta fiber with a triangle and gamma fiber with a with a circle okay so their position is marked here for example for gamma fiber the positions are marked here here okay and some locations within okay so all these positions are marked similarly for beta fiber and gamma fiber okay so all this uh, texture component can be shown on the uh, on the either pole figure or Euler space also or in terms of HKL UV W value which we have seen in the previous slide. One of the most important section uh, when we talk about BCC material and in terms of uh, their formability of the steel material okay. So, if you want uh, formability then one of the most important section to look from all the slices of the ODF is where the phi 2 is 45 degree section okay and if you do that you can see that the phi 1 is here from 0 to 90 phi is there from 0 to 90 and phi phi 2 is equal to 45 degree here in which you can see both the alpha fiber okay the gamma fiber okay another epsilon fiber is there and you have a gauss texture already we have seen the gauss texture in terms of pole figure that how the pole figure will look for a gauss texture okay and in terms of hkl uvw this will be the uh, the texture component for gauss okay so again for formability this gamma fiber is very important in case of uh, uh, in steels okay now what different type of processing gives you uh, texture okay so it is the effect of you can say processing on texture okay so hot rolling uh, i am not talking about microstructure right now okay so you have very uh, uh, strong rolling texture okay strong rolling texture with alpha and gamma fiber okay and also some shear texture components will be there uh, in the material if you are doing cold rolling in steel okay then you will have in terms of texture increase of alpha and gamma fiber orientation okay and so these will be the components for both of these okay and if rolling is less than 75 percent you will have alpha and gamma like this if rolling degree is more than 75 degree then you will have this particular texture component and also again alpha and gamma fiber so basically sharpness of alpha and gamma increase surface uh, has increase of alpha and gamma fiber orientation okay but much stronger uh, uh, 001 110 texture component also suppose if after cold rolling you are doing a recrystallization a static recrystallization okay then the there is a strong decrease of the alpha fiber orientation okay and the increasing density of gauss orientation with increasing amount of shear bend sharp rolling texture component lead to sharp recrystallization texture component so if you have a sharp rolling component like this that will lead to a, a strong recrystallization texture uh, component in the material okay so these are the different type of texture which will develop due to a different type of processing okay so you can do hot rolling then you will have certain texture components you can do cold rolling okay again you will have certain uh, then that case we also call it as deformation texture and after cold rolling you can do a recrystallization process then you will have uh, effect of this ro this uh, texture component which were generated during rolling onto the uh, recrystallization texture component okay now these are the texture components for uh, face centered cubic materials okay so you have brass as copper shear component ga gauze cube okay and some more are there so th 
first, first these ones are deformation texture component which which uh, uh, which uh, uh, arise due to the deformation process and these texture components are there when you do some static recrystallization of the deformed material ok. So, deformed material leads to recrystallization. So, there will be some change in the texture components. So, now you will have gauze cube, rotated cube ok. Rot rotated cube means if you put cube you can rotate it in any of through any of the axis ok. So, either R d 1, R d 2, N d 1, N d 2 and so on ok. And these are the Euler angles for all the texture components ok. Uh, and as you can uh, uh, may be able to understand that cube should always have 0 0 0 as I had already told you because in case of cube the unit cell is already uh, aligned with the uh, our uh, um, sample geometry ok. In case of Gauss it is just a rotation of 45 degree on one angle ok. So, that is what you can see here. Okay, and I, instead of theta, I will put the capital phi here. Okay, that is what we discussed in the previous lecture. Again, this same FCG texture component we can look in the pole figure. Okay, and uh, uh, the pole figure will look something like this. So this is a one 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 pole figure. Okay, in which case you see a typical uh, shape like this. Okay, uh, with some intensities. Uh, uh, at the ro at the RD uh, uh, near RD. Okay, so this is the one 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 uh, pole figure. Okay, so one 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 pole figure, and all the components which are visible here are shown here. So the triangle is copper. Okay, so where the copper components will be there. Okay, then you have S one uh, S has three different variants. Okay, then you have brass which is shown by a yellow square ok. So, the, these are shown here ok all the brass components. Then you have gauss component ok which is shown here ok. So, in a 1 1 1 pole figure this is how th all the different texture component will be distributed. So, if you see uh, intensity for any particular component only at a certain location for example and uh, not for others then you will be able to say that there is a uh, gauze texture in the material ok or for example, in this case brass. So, it will be a brass texture in the material. It, you can see it in terms of uh, ODF also ok as we saw in case of BCC material ok. So, you again have so this is my phi 2 this is my capital phi ok. Uh, 0 to 90, 0 to 90 and 0 to 90 ok. So, you have different components and some fibers also. So, you have alpha fiber like this and gamma fiber like this. So, same same name as in BCC, but their uh, location in the Euler space is different uh, ok. So, and you can also see the different component here. For example, this is a gauss component here, this is your brass component here, this is S ok, uh, brass, gauze and cube also ok. So, C is your cube component ok. So, all the components are also at different location they are uh, situated ok and uh, additionally you have uh, fiber in the uh, in the Euler uh, space ok. And all the angles are also given here ok for different uh, components as well as their HKL UVW values. Now, uh, what will be the effect of uh, uh, alloying element uh, on any texture component is shown here. For example, this is a uh, copper uh, deformed copper ok and uh, initially you have copper components ok which we have already seen uh, in the previous slide ok. So, you copper will have this component 1 1 2 1 1 1 ok. So, you will have copper component uh, intense copper component, but as we keep adding zinc ok and uh, we are trying to make a bra brass material which uh, which is an alloying element of copper and zinc ok. You can see that what is the effect on the pole figure and also texture ok. So, it is getting concentrated and be, uh, giving rise to a brass component which is what we discussed in the previous slide 
this is my brass component ok. So, that is uh, becoming strong with the addition of zinc in the material ok and the reason for this change is that uh, when you add zinc the sticking fault energy uh, changes ok and uh, because of that the, the texture component changes because you will have a different deformation mechanism ok. So, there will be also effect of uh, uh, alloying element on the texture component ok. So, we, we, we have seen uh, that there can be different types of texture component in different material with different crystal structure ok for example, BCC and FCC and we have seen the exact location of different texture component in these two different types of material ok and we have also seen that there will be effect of alloying element also on the development of texture uh, as a function of processing ok. So, this was a, a short lecture to give you an overview of uh, different type of texture components uh, which, which uh, can be there in the PCC or FCC materials. Okay. So, with uh, that uh, uh, thank you for your attention.